hello viewers welcome to my channel today we will discuss the use of tables for data management in excel before starting the lesson i would like to inform you that if you are a beginner level in excel and want to learn to use microsoft excel you can check out my channel video microsoft excel full foundation course or if you want to know about google sheet please check out my playlist about google sheet so let's start video about the use of tables A table is a powerful feature for data management in Excel. You can call it a container for data management. It has rows, columns. If you want to refresh your memory about rows, columns, you can check the right corner, right corner of your screen for the course uh, Microsoft Excel Full Foundation course. We can see here some uh, data with the uh, columns and rows, but uh, it's not a true table. Okay, first I copy the data range sheet and review the difference between table and normal data sheet i right click on data range select move and copy then move to end and create a copy ok now we have an exact duplicate in a separate worksheet which i will change its name to table to see both sides by side and compare if you want to know details you can check my excel full foundation course or how to work in multiple data sheet video vertical making sure that windows of active the worksheet workbook is checked all right now we can work side by side so we are going to convert our data range into a table to unlock additional properties but uh, first we need to review our data to make sure follows a standard data management practice so we have our headers for our fields we are using a a as a primary key columns there are no empty cells or spaces in our records seems good in the For this exercise, we'll trust that the data is good. Okay, so to convert our data range into table, we have a few options, but the most common ones are select one cell in the range, go to the insert tab and click table, or easier with the cell still selected, simply use Ctrl T in your keyboard. Excel automatically identifies the data range we want to use and ask us to confirm is correct very important it is very important sure to select my table as headers which pretty much confirm that we are using the top row data as headers or field names if you don't select it excel will automatically add headers as tables require them you can immediately see the difference our table is not just a range of data with headings but uh, a specific excel object that unlock additional properties uh, to a additional set of data uh, table work as a whole other which uh, will be very useful for data management and make your excel worksheet much easier to use
let's look at some basic example of why we should use excel tables when the table was created a new tab was added to the menu called table tools design if you can see it makes sure you have at least one cell in the table selected one of the most important tools is to give a name to our table this table names and also we can refer later the if we have provide a table names in the uh, tables sometimes excel uh, itself uh, uh, named it table 1 table 2 table 3 or you can name it uh, ourselves so our tables uh, we have some general rules for table names we can use use valid characters always start a name with a letter and underscore character or a backlash and also you can uh, use letters numbers periods and underscore characters for the rest of the name don't use cell reference names ca can be same as a cell reference that will be confused don't use a space to a separate words or letter you can use underscore characters and period as word the separator for example depth cells cells underscore text first dot quarter don't use more than 255 characters use unique tables names excel does not distinguish between upper and lower characters in names so if you enter cells in lowercase but you are already using cells in capital in the same workbook it will uh, cannot distinguish you can choose a unique name use an object identifier this is important particularly if we are planning on having a mix of tables like pivotal tables and charts which we will have a have as we go through the course it's always a good idea to prefix your names uh, with an identifier so you can always identify the source for formula referral for example rtl underscore sales for a retail sales table underscore onl underscore sales pt underscore sales for a sales pivot table or any combination that works for you following that you can easily recognize your table so let's go back to more benefit of using table tables are easily formatted when a table is created excel automatically applies a specific formatting to it but uh, you can easily change it in the design tab you can add or remove banded rows and columns by simply ticking and ticking the checkboxes as shown here changing the style of the table is a bridge you can uh, navigate uh, the, through the style gallery see the changes apply directly to your table once uh, you find uh, you like just click it table headers remain visible even uh, when you scroll down excel recognize the top rows of the table as columns header and when you scroll down as long as you are within the table you will uh, the, uh, always uh, see the headers allowing you to know the at any time on which columns you are working another useful feature in table is sorting and filter functionalities are added to your data automatically if you want to know more detail please check my videos in 2 minute microsoft excel or microsoft excel full foundation course table use structural references this is a major benefit and refers to the use of automatic name ranges in our formula which is really powerful to make excel dynamic and user friendly a great advantage of the, uh, this is that you can always know where data is coming and where you are going to share your workbook with anyone they will quickly understand where the formula is come coming from 
this is a big for data management you can add total to tables automatically you can easily add totals to your tables just go to the design tab and check the total row checkbox and a row will be added at the bottom of your table where you can customize the total row in real time by clicking the drop down bottom at the right of each cell this allows you to select the most common functions and apply them you can leave it on all the time or add added it as needed simply by checking uh, on checking total row tables automatically expand when you add new rows or columns if you add any data in a cell adjusting to your table the table will automatically be resized to include it in a new row or column for example i will start typing in the row underneath the table click tab in my keyboard and the record is automatically added to the table this is fantastic when for example you have a report that calls data from this table as the results will be updated automatically as you add more data to the table you can also decrease or expand your table by dragging the little handle in the bottom right corner of the table tables drag formulas down automatically if you type a formula in a table column excel will automatically drag down the formula for the entire column as each column is a separate field there is indeed no reason the formula should be different from different rows so they will auto fill down to the last row in the table for example I am just going to add equal concatenate and then select course last name plus a country the formula is auto field same idea applies for to formatting if I decide to format the field of purchase amount as currency then add a new row formatting will be auto field down to the new entries You can create dynamic tab chart tables, allow you to create pivot tables or pivot chart based on your table data. We will are learning about them later. But as an advance to advance to it, I will show you how simple I can make a chart from this table again. Don't worry too much about uh, the steps I am doing. Uh, I am doing. We will uh, go through it uh, another videos. But it's safe to say that the pivot will uh, use the table as data source and since the table uh, will automatically adjust to new data so do do the pivot tables and pivot charts there's more the, to the discuss about uh, tables but this has been a longer video than usual already let's leave it here I will expand uh, details of uh, upcoming videos. Uh, the important message is to keep in mind is that you should use Excel table every time. You can see on the next videos. If you think video is helpful, please like and subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get updated videos. See you next videos.